Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. Welcome to the Commonwealth Cabin. So I'm doing something, actually technically I did it last night, that I've never really quite done like this before. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it and very nervous about it at the same time, but it is something that I think had to be done for me and for what's going on in the next few days. So we're shutting down the eBay store and we're not we're not shutting it down forever, but we're shutting it down for the longest time that I can remember in my I don't know. Maybe I've shut it down this long before. I've been selling for a long time and I'm shutting this thing down for, I think, 13 days. So I've talked about this, kind of hinted at it over the last few What Sold episodes. I think I threw in one video here. That was an interview video, I think. There's two of them and I haven't decided which one I'm gonna put out yet. But I usually do three videos a week on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. And that consists of a week's worth of sales, to give you an idea. And we've had just crazy sales. And it's interesting to read the comments because I see there's hardly any in between. I see a lot of people talking how sales have been so ridiculously slow. And then some people are like, this is the best July I ever had. Obviously, we're in August at this point. But today, and I don't usually do this, I film a video and it comes out the next day or the day after, maybe three days later in some cases. But it is August 3rd today. And you're watching this, you know, 10 days later. I don't know when you're watching this. And I wasn't planning on doing this, but the sales went nuts. We had so many sales that three days into the week, so Wednesday, I shut the store down. We filmed videos Sunday, Sunday evening, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is Thursday. There's still over 20 sales. We've been selling stuff on Poshmark, Mercari, and the bulk of the sales, of course, on eBay. And we've had some crazy good sales lately with a lot of high dollar sales. I'm not saying that to brag. I know people, when they hear that, you know, if your sales aren't going well, you kind of get down in the dumps. If your sales are going great and somebody else is talking about their sales being bad, you, you know, you want to tell them what to do, that kind of stuff. I see way too much of that stuff as it is. But for me, the sales have been going very well lately. I'm very happy because we made enough money in the last three weeks to really cover a month's worth, maybe even a little bit more of what we typically make. And now we've got some more sales and we're headed down to FlipCon. Matter of fact, we're back from FlipCon at this point. And as I usually try to do, I pad it a little bit, give myself an extra day to get back, get things straight, get things rolling again and we're back at it. But I don't even know, maybe when you're seeing this, we did have, we're doing two Whatnot shows in August. And I think the other one, it's Tuesday. I don't know when you're watching this. You might be watching this on a Monday or maybe a Saturday, but that one's going on. If you want to go check that out, we're going to obviously do giveaways, but my Trash to Cash buddies, I think, are here. It's still 10 days away from today, but you get the point. And maybe uh, Mel as well, Aussie Flipper coming up as well, back from burnout. And hopefully they'll get to be on the Whatnot auction with this, and you can go check it out. Before we went down to FlipCon, we actually took a mini vacation. So I've needed a little bit of break for a while. My wife goes everywhere all the time. I'm like, why don't I get to go? <laughs> so we went down to the beach for two. I went down to the beach for like three days and then we went over to FlipCon. We did some picking down there. I'm sure, well, we haven't done, I haven't done it yet, but we're supposed to do some picking down there. And I'm sure we had a great time as well. I'll tell you about it on the next video. And I'll tell you what, we've got a lot of stuff to do today before I leave. I've got to get stuff ready for when I come back. I've got all those gifts that we got to get through still over there. And we've got 21 sales, I think, headed out of here today. And I think most of them are on eBay, but I see a nice little sale on Poshmark as well. Let's go take a look. I just clicked the button to see how many sales we do have. We just had two more come in, so I might as well get those done. It's after the store's been on time away mode, but I'm still going to ship them out because I'm still here for another few hours. So here we go. This cut, cut, I think it's this one. It was a red one and it sold for good money. And this is a big one. So I think this is it right here. 722. Let me double check it. 1722. That cut coat knife sold for $95 plus shipping. This is one that just sold and I don't have to ship it till like August 15th, but I'm going to ship it right now because I'm here. And I've had some people tell me lately, this Top Gun hat right here, Top Gun Dale Earnhardt hat. Tell me that their hat sales have dipped. And for me, that hasn't been the experience. Hats have been going okay, but I will say the lower end hats are definitely harder to sell. So 
That one sold for $24.95 plus shipping. And that truly is one of the best things for me about being a reseller is you can shut your store down for a few days and, and take off and do what you need to or want to. Assuming you have the money to do it and boy, the sales have been good for us lately. So that's not a problem. And these guys here, these weevils. Do you remember me picking these up on the Commonwealth Picker channel? Those three Western weevils Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Is that what it is? Those guys right there sold for $35. Free shipping, but, you know, think about it like 30 plus shipping. You know, I love to get updates from folks on certain categories that I, you know, I'm not an expert in anything. I'm kind of a jack of all trades. So tell me how the toy category is going lately. Now, this is an awesome sale right here. Oh, that reminded me. I needed to get those. I need to do something with those comic books. Right here, I picked this up at a sale. You probably remember it on the Commonwealth Picker channel where I got that pitching machine, that, uh, not pitching machine, that tennis ball machine. And I can't remember, they wanted 30 maybe? And I didn't know, there's no comps out there. And I picked this helmet up and there was nothing out there and there were some similar different teams, obviously. And I'm like, man, I'm gonna list this thing high, see what happens. And I listed it for $250. There was immediate action on it, and it took a little while to sell, but it sold for full price, $250 plus shipping. Slowly but surely selling off the Family Guy stuff, and this one was a nice sale. The giant chicken and Peter remains, but Peter, the six inch scale figurine here, sold. That sold for $40 plus shipping. In the eBay came for this one, and we sold another one of the New Wave Oven Domes. I like to sell the heating elements and the domes and the spacers, the rest of the stuff's a little hard. Maybe you can sell the feet sometimes, <laughs> but it's probably not worth it for most folks. That one sold for $39.99 plus shipping. There's a while I couldn't even get 30 bucks out of them, so that's pretty cool. And these are pretty big, so be careful on the shipping, but we're making money on that one. I'm gonna try to get through a few of these today, so I'll do one every once in a while through the video. Check this out. Look at that, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 poster. Be out on VHS. This came from Nick. Nick, thank you so much. Nicknack 88s on eBay. And he says, keep it, give it away, sell it, whatever you want to do with it, favorite charity, whatever. That is very kind of you. Thank you. Check this out. Single stitch Grand Old Opry shirt, Fruit of the Loom tag. I love that. And I mean, how cool are those stickers right there? I gotta get Turner down. Look at these. Adams family. Just really, really cool stuff. I'm super excited about it thank you so much look at those oh man i appreciate it thank you i have been going through paper and bubble wrap like crazy shout out joel american bubble boy <laughs> somebody asked me about this the other day and there it is that's how it works we actually used to have you just take it off like that put it up like that we used to have well we still have it i guess you can see it well you can't there's a slot underneath this my original idea was that it would just feed out here and i just rip it here and package up the stuff but we decided not to do it because i like this area to be able to display stuff plus it was kind of didn't feed through really good the way it went down it was good enough but i kind of wanted to put some cool stuff there so there you go American Mobile Boy link below. I'm on a subscription plan and I absolutely love it. And I don't remember why I'm back here. Yes, I do. I got to get this ladder. Well, let me see if I can get it. I'm going to turn the camera off, set this ladder up because I got to get up here. Because this caboodle sold and it didn't sell on eBay. It sold on Poshmark, I think for full price, $32 plus shipping on that caboodles. I used to do really well on caboodles and it's a little long tail these days. But I still pick it up because it reminds me of the good old days. Not that I had it, but, you know, all the girls in junior high had it. So, at any rate, that was a pretty good sale. And it was a Poshmark sale. Shout out was perfectly. Cross-listing. Code Commonwealth. 30% off first month. We did a Cabbage Patch auction. And I was hoping for $30 to $50 for these. I just wasn't quite sure. I didn't do the research on them. But there's a sweet Cabbage Patch blanket in there, too. I just didn't want to do it all individually and take the time. And it did not get there. We got to $20.50 plus shipping. So a little disappointed. Somebody got a great deal. I wish I would have just sent them to Sarah for that price. Sarah is the Daily Cabbage over there on Instagram. You should go check her out. She's got a great little Instagram page about Cabbage Patch Kids. 
she has great advice and she really knows how to get top dollar but we're doing really good on that cabbage patch by anyways and i think we have another lot and have tons of cabbage patch still to sell in hindsight maybe picking out one or two good pieces listing it buy it now and then maybe setting it at like 35 40 dollars plus shipping it would have sold but we're kind of pressed for space this hat sold quickly though and it's not even in, in perfect shape and but it's cool check it out it's a 950 new era hat it's got a translucent little snap back on it and the rings on the side it sold pretty quickly $20 plus shipping I think we paid two or three I can't remember for a hat like that people always ask me eight by six by five is what I've been using so there's the four but it's not quite high enough for a hat like that by the way I also done eight by six by five I put are they here not that you care but there they are anyway this right here I would not list as new I get this question you guys have been reselling a long time you already know this but just because it's got the stickers on it doesn't mean you're going to list it as new. A lot of people wear it with the stickers on it. Plus, this one has obviously some issues. So, it is definitely not new. I would not list it as new unless it's really new. I can't remember if I thank Dan on the last episode or not for getting plans for the Commonwealth Picker shipping table over on CommonwealthPicker.com. All right. This one is a huge order going out to Chucky who buys tons of video games from us. There's just a few viewer sales today, but Chucky had a bunch. <laughs> That one, Xbox, I gotta make sure I get the right ones here. Hmm. I might have to put my camera down for this. But this one went to him as well. And I think this one went to him. And I'll have to go look at the other ones, but I'm not positive which all of them are. I'm gonna have to double check and show you in here in a second. Totally screwed that up. This one is his. That's $5.21 plus ship. This is $28.50 plus ship. I gotta put this one back. This one is his. And it's got Halo. I think it is Call of Duty. Maybe I don't have this one right either. Yeah, actually that one is right. $27 plus shipping on that one. There's a PS2 lot that has a Harry Potter game in it. And I gotta find it. Hmm. There isn't no isn't it? I was staring right at it actually. $23.75 plus shipping on those. Of course, we'll combine all of this shipping for you, Chucky. We appreciate you. Video game collector one. And look, I'm back here again. <laughs> there was one more. And this was a Wii Lot, We Play, Rock Band, Need for Speed. And this was $20 free shipping on that one. The next one is an ET pin. And that one went to a viewer as well. Second viewer. So a day $6 plus shipping. That one went to Daniel, Vintage Dash Rescuer. I like that name. I just want to say I appreciate what you do with your YouTube channels. Well, thank you. My brother Michael got me started reselling on eBay and introduced me to your channel a few years back. And when you gave me, a, and then he gave me a couple of your CWP stickers. Unfortunately, he passed away from cancer complications in 2021. But I've learned so much from him and from you. I can certainly see why he loved your channel. Thanks again for the tips and the fun. Daniel, a.k.a. the Vintage Rescuer on eBay. Well, Daniel, I'm very sorry for your loss. And I really appreciate the kind words. And uh, that is headed your way. It's raining out here today, but Dobby's still outside. Just says anywhere to get away from Wallen. So this Cowboys jersey right there, $115. Plus shipping. It was a really big size. It's obviously Emmett Smith and it's Reebok. Another gift showed up at the P.O. Box. This is from Ronnie Treasures and Wishes on eBay, Mercari, and on whatnot. He sent this to us. It is a sealed version there of Robin Williams' Patch Adams, which I like that movie, of course. It is uh, not my favorite Robin Williams movie. Boy, I've got a lot of them. But I just, uh, Robin Williams was just, I just enjoyed his stuff for years and years and years. Even Popeye, the strange movie, Popeye, but that was a good one. Awakenings as well was another one, and there's just so many I really loved. So thank you very much for that, and that's going to my collection. We sold an NWO decal. I haven't sold one in a while, but we are there on clearance, not clearance. No, they're not. Wait a minute, now I'm confused. Sold for $7.39 for that one. I thought maybe they were 25% off, I can't remember. At any rate, we're making about $2 every time we sell one at that price. And at the other price, we're making like 4 So 
I'll take it. WCW, NWO, we have tons of those. These are the kind I get from eBay right here. And they're a little, pr well, I mean, they'd be really pricey, but I get them on my little, little free coupon. And they make it pretty easy to ship those out, even though we're not making much money on them. But they don't take much time, so I'll take it. Five Nights at Freddy's Cupcake. Second time we've sold it, although it's the third time I pulled it because I pulled the wrong cupcake one time. This one has the damage. And it's in the listing, but I sent the person a message. I'm like, I just want to make sure before I ship it. And it's been a day and I haven't heard back, so... I guess we'll ship it. That one sold for $15 plus shipping. All right, I got both the homeschool hustlers here. Turner's got a joke, some common comedy. What do you got? Two pickles fell out of a jar onto the floor. What did one say to the other? I don't know what they say. Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> That's pretty good. You like your uh, no, Reagan's man. here as well. She has somebody to thank no, for buying some out of commonwealthcare.com. Robert got a gray CWP shirt. He did. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at commonwealthpicker.com. But it's not goodbye yet, because we're going to open some gifts here at the end of the video, and you're going to get a dollar to what? A dollar to spend, a dollar to donate, and it, wait, no, no, no. A dollar <laughs> to save, a dollar to spend, and a dollar to donate. <laughs> you Bye. Got Sold something else out of this bin today, this awesome little Scooby-Doo backpack and Scooby-Doo plush right there. I think they're Cartoon Network. I'm not quite sure. Those sold pretty good. Paid to, uh, you know, it was a big giant lot we got. I'm not quite sure what we paid, but it wasn't much. $27 plus shipping. So we did have two more viewer sales, and I think two more sales after that. Or maybe just one more viewer sale. I think maybe just one. And I don't even think that one's in here. I think the other one is still inside. Hey, look at that. I forgot that was in here, and I forgot that one was in here. Maybe we need to auction off one of the original originals, although it's got some damage. We'll do that soon. I grabbed one here, a little thing in a man, and it went to Patrick. I hear Wallen down there. I better let him in. Ooh, you're wet. Come on. Don't shake. Don't shake. Don't shake it all off in here. Let me find you a treat. You're going to shake, aren't you? No? Let's hope not. That's it. There you go. You smell like a wet dog. That in a man is headed up to... <laughs> It's headed up to West Virginia, I'm afraid. I think you say let's go Mountaineers at the end, so you must be a couch burner up there. <laughs> uh, I've I've watched one game in Morgantown and it was quite entertaining. Let's just say that. Patrick, hey Kevin, definitely need to get things moving. Taco Bell is cutting it. Uh, well, it's not that kind of moving. It's to get your eBay store moving, but I think you get that. My name is Pat. I've been reselling for a couple of years now. I love how family-oriented you are, and I share the same sentiments with my son and daughter. My son loves the guitar playing in the videos. Well, thank you. And I'd love to send you a video of him dancing to it. Well, thank you, Pat. Let's go Mountaineers. I hope he gets things moving for you. I was doing the shipping in here, and I just saw this. We didn't see it the first time, Kim, so thank you. For that, I know you sent us something uh, a couple years ago or a year ago or so. So we appreciate that. Hope you see in base. Well, and you gonna help me pull orders? So another ET set of earrings this time. Elliot earrings, and this one I don't think is two viewer. Didn't have a message, so I think we had three viewer sales today. Those earrings went for five dollars and twenty-five cents, maybe. Plus shipping. We sold a masquerade vampire book, storyteller's companion. I'm sold for twelve dollars plus shipping. All right, y'all. We got a bunch of stuff, and I promised myself I was going to get through it all before we left. And Reagan and Turner have been opening stuff up, and the cat and dog have been not behaving, but they are now. Sorry, so. I just saw that helmet. That's cool. Isn't that neat? I know. All right, you want to start, Reagan? What do you got? Um, this was from Kim. I'll just show them all. You don't have to go through it all, but I do want you to see something, y'all. There's earrings in here from Kim. Kim, thank you so very much. And Reagan picked them up, and she immediately went and got the loop. Right here. And she found 925 silver on it. So right. those are silver earrings. Yep. Kim. Thank you so much. Uh, hopefully that's okay. <laughs> we'll send them back she... if you want them. <laughs> those aren't real diamonds, obviously. Yeah. And some cool stuff. Look at that cool ladybug toy. Mm -hmm. And some wrestling cards and some football cards and a frog clicker. Thank you very much. And this is from Troy Mountain Man Treasure. This right here and this. And I don't know what I do with this sheet right here. It's over here. This is from Tom. And Tom's son was diagnosed with leukemia. And he wanted to send this to us for our charity auction. 
September 30th reseller rally for St. Jude. And Reagan, I have to say... I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> Reagan is a little bit upset. But she knows that this is going to a great charity. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe we could trade one of your paint guns for it. I don't know. But <laughs> we're going to auction these off. September 30th, all the proceeds going to go to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And I wish I could accept stuff from tons of folks. But we have just got so much. But this is really cool. And I know you want them. I know you do. Yeah. This came from Troy Mountain Man Treasure. Troy, thank you. I didn't see a message in there from you. I was so confused opening that thing up. I was like, what is this? <laughs> this is perfect. I really I like, it. like it's it. It's funny. And it is White Feather Studios. Really cool. It's probably up there in Montana. And that's going to be in the charity auction as well. This was from Mike. Mike, thank you very much for these two sealed VHS. I really do appreciate that. We got more sealed VHS over here, Turner. Who's that from? Uh, Sam and Alexis. Sam and Alexis. What's their eBay store? Uh, one sec. Efron Vintage. Efron Vintage. Y'all are awesome for sending me that. Thank you very much. I feel like we're missing something. Are we missing something? No, but Turner wants to talk to you guys. You want to tell me something? What? On Spongebob. It's Spongebob. <laughs> but that guy's name, his name is Kevin. That's probably why they did that, Turner. <laughs> yeah, I know. Why does Kevin got to be a dork? I don't know. Is he a dork? Yeah, um, he's, he's a dork. <laughs> he's a dork, but everyone likes him. Oh, yeah. well. So, okay. that's you. Got to give it. Oh, no oh, offense. Oh, wow. <laughs> no offense, but that's <laughs> Oh, you're funny. You're funny. Look, I'm going to take you and kick these things out of here, boy. Yeah. Anyway, thank y'all very much for everything. We appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Thank you. I forgot to mention that was Big Dog Flipper, D-A-W-G on eBay, and it's the Big Dog House. So thank you very much for your generosity. And I know a lot of people can't give. We just only have so many spots, and it's just a little bit difficult. You know, we got a, a time limit on it as well. So, But if you do want to take the time, even for you people who don't do whatnot, and uh, either sign up if you never have. If you are interested, I'm sure we'll have some Buy Now stuff in there too. Maybe you can use that for some free merch. You get free $15. It's September 30th. And you can go over there and bookmark that now on whatnot. At least show up and just support. There'll be tons of folks you probably know at the Reseller Rally. And it's going to be a great time. So I'm hoping to raise quite a bit of money for St. Jude. And I know it's a uh, something that a lot of people cherish out there with experiences like that. And I haven't told some of my stories from some, some things. But, you know, that's one of the charities we'd like to give to as well. So thank you all. As always for joining us and I can't wait to see you next time. Mm -hmm.